John, as always, thanks for joining us. Uh, a point against league leaders uh, Inverness. How would you sum up the game? I was a little bit frustrated first half. You know, I thought we could have been doing you know a lot better in the first half. You know, Ethan Varian in the very first minute or minute and a half of the game uh, gets in and behind uh, Broadfoot, and Broadfoot gets a, a yellow card. You know, and I honestly feel that we should have been putting the ball into that area much more to test him. Uh, on a yellow card, nine times out of ten, within the pitch you would be thinking, well, let's get the ball in that area, let's get the ball in that area, you know, and uh, he thinks cause him a problem. Unfortunately, he also picked up an injury in that challenge as well, which was, wasn't very good and of course has to come off a little bit later on. Uh, so, a little bit frustrated first half, and obviously we go do it to ten men, but neither team created anything in the first half, you know, you know, the both goalkeepers had very little to do in the first half. So a little bit disappointed that we didn't really, you know, get up to our A game at all, really, uh, in the first half. Obviously, second half, you're, uh, you know, anticipating that they're going to get a little bit more of the ball. We're going to get the ball in your box. So we've got to be organised, and we've got to defend well, which we did for the vast majority of it. And at the same time, you've got to carry a threat. And I thought that we did carry a threat, and uh, Dario's done magnificently well. Uh, I think it's Christoph's won the ball back just outside our box. Uh, Dario's got on it, probably just into the Inverness half, and he's done a, a great run, you know, dribbling right to the byline, cutting it back, and Aidan Connolly's came on to it, and, you know, a great finish from him. I think it was going to be more of the same, you know, we're going to have to defend, be organised, and uh, and I thought we did, and we still carried that threat, we were still a threat going forward, we still created one or two opportunities. I thought the goal was a little bit fortunate for them with regards to they get to the byline, the ball that's cut back was the aim to get to the edge of the box. You know, the boys had a little bit of swing at it. And it's landed for, for Welsh, who's drilled a low shot through a lot of bodies. And of course, you've just got to accept that, you know, they've got, they've got a goal back, they've got a little bit of chance at the very death by, by Dario. But for being so frustrated at half time, delighted at the second half, the effort and the commitment that the players put in. Uh, carried a threat, you know, speaks volumes for the character of the players, the mentality, to stay in it, not to, you know, like, uh, when they get a goal back, you know, not to buckle, to stay strong, to, to stand up to it. And, uh, you know, all in all, we've just got to take the point that we got, no one regards to ourselves, and they head to head with Inverness, no damage done there. Kilmarnock's obviously won today, they've gained two points on us, all the other games are a draw. So not an awful lot of damage done, yeah, come on up going above us. There's a long way to go, hell of a long way to go. We're up there in a nice position. We've got a good unbeaten run going here. So, you know, it brings us on to the game on Tuesday. The sending off's the big key talking point. Um, so maybe we're going to split opinions about what we're most interested in what yours was. How did you see it? Yeah, I mean, Ross is that type of player. He goes into these challenges, you know, regularly. Uh, it's came from a uh, kind of like blind side, if you want. Uh, Aggressively, but his feet are low, his feet are down. For me, he's got to the ball. I mean, I've only seen it, you know, we need to look at it over and over and over and over, and it would be handy getting different angles if there were. Uh, but I thought, I was surprised, I was surprised when the red card came out. I didn't, I never for one minute thought it was going to be a red card. I don't think anyone, Wraith Rovers minded, wasn't expecting a red card to come out. So we'll need to go and have a look and see if we want to go and appeal it or not. I thought it was a, an honest attempt to get to the ball. I thought he was at speed, yeah, which is one of the criteria for, for a red card. But at the same time, I thought he was in control. I didn't think he was out of control. Chances were at a real premium, particularly across the, the kind of first half. Um, how did you sum up the kind of performance of your, your defensive unit? No, I thought we were good. I thought we were very good defensively. Uh, so that would tell you why you know they didn't create an awful lot because the defence was very very good and Jamie McDonald's not had an awful lot to do. Uh, we weren't at our best, uh, you know. But when you get two teams that are vying up at the top of the table, you know sometimes that that will happen. You know you're hoping you're going to be at your best, and uh, we come in at the game very very confident. But at the same time, I've got to uh, give all the credit to the players for their, their, their second half performance, which was outstanding. Knocks across the game for Ethan, as you mentioned, and for Kyle. Any early news? Or is that a bit too soon to say? No, it's too early to say. Uh, Ethan's obviously hurt his shoulder. Uh, Benny's tweaked his hamstring. So, you know, it's not too bad, but you don't kind of do have that kind of injury and get back 
in a matter of days. So uh, I'm not so sure about Ethan, how his shoulder is. Uh, but it means that our squad is going to be tested. You know, obviously Ross could be suspended. Uh, Kyle can miss out. Ethan could miss out. So yeah, it's going to probably test our, our squad over the, the next few days. It's probably unfortunate that we have a midweek game coming up so close. But maybe would have helped us if it had been like just Saturday. It's hard day, but it's Sod's Law. In terms of saving you another trip in front of the Wraith TV camera, I can ask you about the, the derby and what's your early thoughts on that? A strong point for uh, Dunfermline at Firhill today? Yeah, they seem to have steadied the ship a little bit with regards to getting draws. You know, they're still you know, missing wins. Uh, so we'll probably, uh, I'd say, a good point probably at Firhill in the back end, like part that's going six against uh, Hamilton and probably being a lot very confident going into that game. So we'll need to be on our toes. You know, as I said there, our squad is going to get tested now. Uh, but we'll be looking forward to it. We're in good form. We're in a, we're, in a, we're on a great run. So you know we've we'll be well up for the game when it comes along on Tuesday.